Hello, young Marines. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to pack your gear bag. But first, notice that I'm wearing what you're going to wear to the compound, uh, except you'll be wearing your unit t-shirt and you'll be wearing your BDU cover instead. So everything here is on the gear list. And what you should do is have a printout of the gear list with you as you're packing each item. Now it looks like a lot of gear, but as you know, our gear bags are, are large. So I've packed it already and I can tell you everything's going to fit and I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing is the boots. Before we load the boots into the gear bag, we're gonna utilize the space inside the boots for some of your materials. So I believe there are two sets of socks that need to be packed, black socks. So I'm gonna put them inside one boot. And actually I'm gonna put all the socks inside one boot, which includes the one pair of white socks. So that goes in there. Now, if you have a flashlight similar to mine where it's small, then you can put this in the other boot. If your flashlight is larger on the other hand, then what you can do is lay it flat against the inside here or along the side here, and it'll tuck nicely under the clothes. But I'm, a, I'm going to assume that most flashlights are going to be about this large, and I would recommend that they are. Uh, otherwise, it becomes a little bit bulky and a little bit hard to handle in the field. So, there's also an extra set of batteries that you're supposed to bring. So I put mine in here. That set of batteries is in addition to the batteries that are already in the flashlight, which should already be new. So I have my flashlight and I tuck it in the boot. So right now I'm going to move the boots out of the way. I'm going to bring my gear bag onto the table. The logo is in the front and I'm moving it to the back and opening my flap over. And this is how I'm going to pack my gear bag. Remember I told you that we've got this nice handy large side pocket for the boots and we're going to utilize that. So let's take the first boot and move it inside the pocket just like that. We'll take the second boot and again move it inside the pocket just like that. So as you can see it's filling up some space. Now just the other stuff that I like to put in the side pocket. I think everything's in there, but I'm going to take my boot, my set of boot bands and I'm going to just keep them with my boots. It makes sense. What we're going to do before we start packing this big interior space, I want to get these side pockets filled. So we've already taken care of this side and now we're going to take care of the other side. The material that I like to keep in there is a hygiene kit, sunscreen, bug spray, any of that stuff that could leak uh, or get a little messy during the trip. We'll start with what is usually the bulkiest item, which is your hygiene kit. Now inside my hygiene kit is a full pack of baby wipes. You're going to need these for the camping trip, so make sure you have a nice full pack. Uh, I also have uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, shaving cream, and a razor. Females, you're also going to need to include your hairstyling products. So, kind of bulky, but that's why we're going to load it first. That way, if we load the inside first and then try to load the side pockets, it's going to be hard to squish things around, but if we do it this way, then we have a nice uh, frame for the bag. I'm going to come in here and load my hygiene kit just like that. I'm going to tuck it in. And yours might be in a Ziploc bag or you know whatever. You're going to have to kind of adapt it to yours, but if this can fit, then whatever you're using can fit as well. I'm also going to put my sunscreen in there. Notice it's in a Ziploc bag and sealed up. That way in case it gets messy or gets the button gets pressed, um, it should stay locked up, shouldn't affect any of my other gear, especially my clothes. Tuck it in here. Uh, I don't yet have bug spray, but I, I'm going to use my uh, boot, boot cleaning uh, tube here to at least simulate the space that bug spray is going to take. So again, in a plastic bag, I tuck it in. And because I don't have anything in here, notice that I can bring the bag nice and close and zip it nice and easily. Before I close it up, I'm also gonna take my two trash bags and I'm gonna put them in there as well. So one of these trash bags is going to be used for your dirty clothes throughout the weekend. Another one is going to be used in case of inclement weather. So if it rains, we cut a hole in the bottom, put it over yourself, you can wear it like a poncho. So I'm gonna take these and what's great about these is they're nice and easy to clasp. And uh, I'm gonna stick them right in there. I'm gonna close it. Let's take very good care with our zippers. You don't want to be pulling, tugging, um, nothing like that. When you zip, it should be 
nice and easy. And if it starts to bow out like this, you don't just keep pulling until it closes. Instead, take a moment, pause, bring the zipper together, and then continue closing it. That way the zipper doesn't break. I'm gonna close this pocket as well. So again, nice and easy. We'll go from there. But before we move on to the inside, one thing I wanna point out is this mesh side area right over here. You will never ever use this for anything. Because if you start putting stuff in here, it's going to rip the mesh eventually. It's going to stretch this out. It's gonna make the bag look bad. Same thing on the other side. Notice that with the boots, the mesh is part of the actual side. So you want to be careful as you zip this up and as you move your bag around to not rip this. Finally, one other thing is this front pocket. Nothing ever goes in here. The reason is if you start putting stuff in here, it's going to start poking out and it's going to start looking kind of bunched up. It's not going to have that sharp uniform appearance, but in addition, it's going to start doing things where it might put a hole in the front or it might uh, start wearing out. You know, you might see that, you know, something's been in there a while and it's been, it's been poking out, it's gonna fade and it's gonna get white and you don't want that. So we wanna keep that pocket completely empty of material. And as you can see, my, my logo is getting a little faded already. It's been to a few encampments and several drills. Hopefully yours isn't. Eventually, if it gets too bad, you're gonna have to purchase a new bag. So you're gonna wanna take care of the bag. So let's flip it back around. We have our side pockets filled because now we have a kind of a structure to the bag. We have a nice side right here and we know where our boots are. So this is the space that we have to use to pack the rest of our gear. If you noticed, all of my gear, all of my clothes are rolled. Okay, not folded, but rolled up. You might be worried about the fact that, you know, it's gonna cause bad creases in the clothing. Um, that's true. You you get a little bit of kind of scrunched up creases, but that's okay for a field environment. The important thing is, is before you do all this, iron the clothes, make sure that they have the appropriate creases that they're supposed to have, and then roll them up. If you iron them and take care of them beforehand and then roll them up, believe it or not, they'll stay in pretty good condition. So I just want to show you an example of my BDU trousers. Notice that when I folded them, I folded them along their creases. And that's going to help keep those creases sharp even in the field. Nice and neat, nice and flat. You know, and you notice that they're not, they're not very wrinkly. And for this weekend, you want to make sure that you don't have any starch or anything in your uniform because you don't want to be going on a hike with a starched uniform like that. So I roll it up. Try to keep it smooth as I'm doing so. And there it is. And I'll just show you the the uh, blouse really quick, how I, how I folded it. So I buttoned the top button here and the bottom button here. I laid it flat just like this. Then I took uh, the uniform and again, if I fold the sleeves in correctly, my crease will be right there. So I'm still taking care of my crease. It's actually right here. So I'm still taking care of the crease. Again, same thing on this side, taking care of that crease. And then I'm going to roll it in half. Roll it in half, which means that my blouse is still, or my uh, collar area is still facing front. And then, and then I'm going to roll it up just like this. The clothes rolling technique comes from the Marine Corps, that's where I learned it. So if the Marine Corps says it's okay, then it's okay for us as well. So all of your gear should be rolled up like that. And I'll go through each, each gear item in a moment. So again, our bag is up. Again, the back is facing us as we pack. We have a nice structure to the bag and we're gonna fill that inside area. Now, the way I wanna fill my gear is how I'm going to use it. So BDUs, for example, we're gonna be using them last on the trip. If you look at the drill schedule or at the schedule for this weekend's encampment, you'll notice uh, a column on the right that says uniform. So it tells you what you're going to be wearing at what time throughout the weekend. So if you pay very close attention to that, it will tell you this is how you need to pack your gear. The last uniform that you're going to wear should be the first uniform that you pack. So there's always a strategy to packing and the idea is to do it as simply as possible, especially when you're in the field and you're going to be pulling this gear out and it's going to be you know dirty out there you don't want to be 
you don't want to have to lay things out. You want to be able to dig in your bag, grab the item, and pull it out instead of having to pull things out and put it on the bottom of your tent as you're trying to find an item because then those clothes are going to get dirty uh, or dirtier than they need to be. So we're going to start with our BDUs. I'm going to start with my trousers and I'm going to bring them in to the side right there right under where that structure is on the side and I'm going to tuck them in nice and neat. Then you see I have a little bit of space here. I'm going to grab my blouse. I'm going to put my blouse right there so it's right at the, the toes of my uh, boots. Right. As you can see here, we have some empty space right inside there. So I'm going to put some small items there, some items that can kind of be squished around if needed. So I'm going to take my two pairs of skivvies and I'm going to shove them right inside there, just like that. So I got one, two. Then I'm going to take, uh, we'll take my t-shirts. So there's one white t-shirt that you need and you also need your red national t-shirt or if you're a staff member this would be your black staff t-shirt so you're going to tuck that right in above so we still got a little bit of space on the side here i'm going to grab my black beanie and i'm going to tuck that in right next to it right inside here and then i'm going to take my black glove inserts these are actually a little bit smaller i need to get some new ones by the way, this is what black glove inserts look like. They're not leather gloves. They're, they're meant to be, these are super tiny, but they're meant to be worn inside of an, another pair of gloves. Now you can bring another pair of gloves if you want, but usually these will keep your hands nice and warm. And you notice because they're cloth like that, um, you can still pick things up and operate um, as opposed to a bulky leather glove. So you want to find glove inserts like this. And usually they're only about five or six dollars. Fold those up and put those on top of my beanie. Right now, let's just stop and consider the fact that I kind of know where everything is in my bag right now. I know that my BDUs are here. My t-shirts and skivvies are over on this side, and my beanie and my uh, gloves are right here. So it's good to know where things are in your bag. We're going to continue packing. We're going to be changing into sweatpants before we get into BDUs. So I'm going to take my sweatpants. I'm going to put them right here. We're actually wearing our sweatshirt when we arrive in the morning. So I'm going to try to leave some space in my bag for the sweatshirt so that when it does get hot later in the day, there's still room in my bag to pack that sweatshirt. We're going to think ahead and we're going to try to keep that sweatshirt uh, out of the way and we're going to try to keep room for that sweatshirt. Uh, speaking of sweatshirts, let's move to another kind of big item. This should be your personal sweatshirt or your personal hoodie. It shouldn't have any Young Marine or other unit logos on it, uh, but it could have, like this one says, San Francisco, California. Uh, so just a personal sweatshirt and this is this is just in case it gets a little too cold and we need additional layering but otherwise we probably won't need this but it's always good to think ahead and have a backup plan in terms of clothing as well so uh, this is us making sure that we do that so I'm going to put that right on top of my boots nice and neat then we have our hand towel and I want to show you this a hand towel is bigger than a washcloth but smaller than a bath towel so you're going to want that extra size for your hand towel um, for hygiene time. So when you're brushing your teeth, uh, nails when you're shaving, you know, you're gonna want this extra cloth so that you can wipe your face. So make sure that you're bringing a hand towel. And if you don't have a hand towel, it's probably good to bring two, three, maybe even four washcloths. Don't bring a full bath towel. So we're gonna tuck that in. Uh, you know, and actually I'm gonna tuck it in right here in the back right on top of my shirts. Uh, space is starting to run out and that's okay because so is our gear. I have my PT shorts. They go right inside here on the side because we're filling all that space in there. I'm gonna take my guidebooks and I'm gonna put them in there. If you're a basic young marine, you only need this one. If you're a junior young marine, you need the junior and basic guidebook. And if you're a senior young marine, you need to bring all three. So I'm gonna put them flat right there on top, just like that. Uh, another option might be, if you'd like, you can actually kind of maybe put them on the side and maybe even space them out a little bit so they almost give kind of a little bit of structure to the front of the front of the bag. But that's up to you. I have my chow. So as you can see, um, I've actually made this bulky on purpose. The chow that I'm bringing won't nearly fill this up like this. But I made it bulky on purpose just to make sure that we can get it all in there. I can put it in that nice space that's right in the middle of the bag. 
you might have to move some things around and that's that's totally fine um, but now we've got everything in there and the only other item that I would need to add later on in the day is going to be my black sweatshirt we're arriving in this and then later on uh, it's probably gonna get warm and we're gonna want to put it in our gear bags so later on it sh looks like it'll be pretty easy for me to, to tuck that in now we use the term square away all the time we say square away your gear this is what we're talking about if you look we have straight lines squares okay so that when we close our bag notice I'm not having to strain the zipper I'm not having to pull things it's it lays flat and the zipper lays nice and round that's how gear should be again we easily very easily zip up our gear bag if we do it correctly bring our gear together and bam we have a squared away packed gear bag for our encampment this weekend now in addition to that you're gonna have your hydration pack that you're bringing and you're gonna have your sleeping bag in another bag and that should be it all your gear needs to be in your gear bag there should be nothing in your hydration pack even if it has all these pockets nothing in your hydration pack except the actual hydration pack and I think one more thing that I said was that you would have a bottle of water or water container that was full but I said to keep that outside your gear bag but as you can see I've got a little bit of space right here if I really needed to as long as this thing is nice and tight and secure I can easily unzip that bag move things around just a bit and be able to put that in there as well so there's no reason that your gear can't all fit in a total of three bags your gear bag with all your clothes your hydration pack and your sleeping bag in its own bag now if you want to bring a pillow you can I don't recommend it um, but maybe a nice place to tuck your pillow is going to be right here remember all the gear that you pack you have to hike in to our campsite we don't get to park right next to it you have to actually hike into it so you're going to want to make sure that this is squared away because the more squared away it is the easier that that hike is going to be it's short but when you have all this gear it becomes kind of difficult thanks for taking the time to watch this video we didn't have a chance at the last drill to really talk about this so this is just a little bit of uh, extra time and if you take the extra time to do things right you're going to find that it makes your encampment a lot easier and it teaches you what you're supposed to know which is to be squared away prepared and ready for anything thanks again